Hey, it's May, and welcome to my channel. So today, excuse me, we have a little unboxing of some fragrances from Fragrance Net. So if you'd like to see me unbox them, I'll tell you the notes, and then I'll give them my first sniff ever. Some are affordable, some are not so affordable. Keep on watching. I'm gonna jump right into it. So I got one, five, one, two, three, four. I got five fragrances. All right, so I got five fragrances from them. Uh, two are affordable, so they're regular size. Two are affordable, so they're regular size, and one is, or two. three were affordable. Wow, three were affordable. So they're like um, one fluid ounce to, let me get this, 3.4 fluid ounce. And then two of them are travel size, so I can test them out because those cost a little more. So let's just jump right into it. One of them I was having a hard time finding a note breakdown, so we're just gonna go off of what I smell. The first one is Tommy Bahama Saint Bart's Woman. Oh, this is an eau de parfum concentrate, and then this is three point. This is hundred ml. Hundred ml of this. This is so cool. And then like then like rope look, and then this is like beveled inwards. Totally cool. Super cool. And I love a good frosted. A good frosted glass is a good, good vibe. So in here there is top notes of lime and tequila, which I thought was cool. You know, I love a liquor note. If you know, you know. Middle note, just the floral notes. Slat, that's slightly concerning. Base note of sand, guyac wood, and musk. So this is an interesting fragrance. Let's go ahead and try it out together. Oh, and there's a little tree on this side. Cool. Here we go. Oh. Oh, no. I have to decant this and bring this with me. It literally smells like, like a margarita. Margarita, right? Because they use tequila. It smells like tequila, but like not just like straight up tequila. Like like a margarita, like a fresh, like down to the ice. Mmm. The lime, it's fresh. It's almost like watery. Like it's it, it's icy almost. Maybe not watery. Icy. I'm gonna give it icy. Because it literally smells like what I, you would smell if you were to order it yourself a regular margarita. No flavoring, no nothing, just a regular margarita. There's lime in it, whatever. Mmm. This is giving me, like, vacation. It's giving me... Mmm. The next one is the one I can't find notes for, which is weird. But this is Fran... Fran... Oliver. One Kiss. There's another fragrance from this house that I want to buy as well. Good things are slow instead. So this is 2.5 fluid ounce, but this looks like a massive bottle. This is cool. Look at the juice. Y'all know I love me some ambery juice. I like this. This is actually bubbled in. Oh, you can see it. It like bubbles in. That's really cool. Oh, so you're supposed to face it this way so the beveled one bottle is out. That's cool. That's... Oh, all right. Okay. You said you're not going anywhere. Say less, say less, say less. Let's try. Okay, so this is giving me... The first spray was giving me similar vibes to Police to Be, the purple bottle, like a sweet, uh, like a Welsh's fruit snacks, which I still kind of smell, but it's also giving me like a, like a barbershop, like a, I don't dislike it, it's just interesting. 
yeah like a kind of like a barbershop smell which is it's interesting but kind of that sweet like that Welsh's fruit snacks at the same time this is interesting oh no now it yeah it's sweet there's this kind of like weird almost barbershop smell to it that I kind of like but it's sweet it's kind of like maybe you mess with your husband's or your fiance's or your man's or your whatever person's you're a person's aftershave or something like it almost smells like you know that whatever they pat on your face or whatever like that like it smells but also sweet i like it it's it's different the way i'm explaining it it sounds probably weird and it is a little it's weird but weird in like a cool way yeah no there's nothing in the box Ooh. sorry let's keep it moving the next is so i have the original flanker to this so they came out with a second one people rant brave gas do the most the most of the most with this so i had to get one it's got a small one though um this is love by sofia vergara i love sofia by sofia vergara i really really love coco mademoiselle's little sister um so i was like coffee notes and there's not just one but two coffee notes in here so you got top notes of this is so cute there's something amazingly adorable and fun about one ounce bottles to me. Just makes something look more attractive. This is so cute. Like, I'm like, hey, what's up? Hello. My name is Mini Sophia. Yes, it be. Anyway, fashion, top notes of fashion fruit, orange blossom, green apple, and mandarin orange. Middle notes of Colombian coffee, orchid, coffee blossom. Oris and Magnolia and base notes of praline, vanilla, amberwood, and musk mallow. This bottle is so cute. So I have the 3.4 fluid ounce of Sophia. Look at put the cat back on. Look at the size difference. I'm screaming. I love it. I love it. Mm. I love it. Mm -mm. I love it. Mm -mm. This is actually giving me. Oh, yeah, it is giving me. Um, black orchid black black orchid black opium vibes maybe a little fresher though oh it's definitely a little fresher i mean there's green apple and, and passion fruit and mandarin orange in here mm, this is a lovely fragrance I feel like you could even get away with this in the springtime for sure. Because I don't know if I would wear... So I don't have the original Black Opium. I thought I did buy it, but this is actually Black Opium Extreme. So when people were like, I don't know, so you have your coffee notes, not really that strong. It's, it's more like latte, super, super latte. I was like, y'all don't smell the coffee note in this? Y'all lost your mind. But this is the Extreme version, which has more coffee note in there. Yeah, it's definitely more fruity and, and, and fresh. And slightly powdery, but more fruity, fresh type of coffee. But the coffee notes are in the mid, so you'll probably get more coffee smell as you wear it. I like this. This is a good vibe, and this was so cheap. The next two are expensive are expensive enough that I wanted to test them out before I went ahead and bought them. So they're not really expensive. They could be mid-price range. Whatever. You get my flow. You get my flow. The first one I heard is going out of 
uh it's gonna be discontinued and so i had to i had to go ahead and try this out because if i do love it i want to buy it the bottle's also super cute before you can't find it anywhere and this is gucci guilty love edition and it's in this little black decanted bottle top notes of raspberry narcissus watery notes bergamot and grapefruit middle notes of violet flower petals and jasmine sambac i love jasmine sambac base notes of musk patchouli and amber it's very um powdery and airy at the same time I don't know why I feel like Gucci Guilty fragrances are so heavy. Maybe I need to revisit the line. This is not heavy. This is something you definitely could wear in the springtime. Definitely has a slight powdery vibe to it. Definitely, yeah, definitely. Definitely got some citrus notes in here, but they're not obnoxious. I could not have told you there was raspberry in here. I do not smell that one drop of raspberry. But I can get the citrus, the water, like it's light. Watery but powdery, so it's not super light. This is a very lovely fragrance. This almost makes me think, I feel like, um, oh my gosh. Oh wow, I'm spacing Cher. I feel like Cher would smell like this in that movie with um oh wow what's the name of her name wow famous person I'm, I'm spacing on but basically the film person she's blonde and she like moved from a podunk town and she like took what her old job owed her dipped out and then went to go work burlesque is the name of the movie i think and this is what i think Cher would smell like in the movie like as her back character the boss who owns the burlesque place Kind of very sophisticated, but kind of fun, but mature, but not like atypical mature, like fun person, like like cool mature, like a, okay, I want a burlesque area, uh, a burlesque place that makes good good at good money. We provide good entertainment. We're smart. We bought the air rights to where someone was gonna build a high rise condo, and now they can't build it. <laughs> Not me telling you the whole plot line. <laughs> All right, next one is Aqua Allegoria's um, Mandarin Basilic. Basilic? Uh, listen, if I said it wrong, just know I tried my best, okay? Top notes of bitter orange, clementine, orange blossom, green tea, and ivy. Already sounds beautiful. Middle notes of mandarin orange, basil, chamomile, and peony. It's a two different teas for me. And base notes of sandalwood and amber. I'm actually quite excited. I ho I lowkey hope I don't like this because that would be now too expensive for your fragrances. Wow, absolutely not. Why do I do these things to myself? No, but like seriously, nay. Let's talk. It's almost like you want to not have money ever because you have to buy fragrance this is wow nay why are you like this this is this is ridiculous someone send help send help i have to go buy this i have to go buy this i have to go buy this oh no oh no 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 it literally smells like a more sophisticated expensive version of this oh why oh why stronger sharper but not sharp in the kind of way sharper and like that stronger like more you can see clear i can see clearly now type of vibe yeah these would definitely layer super well together 
although can you be surprised when there's green tea but there's definitely an orange peel smell in here and this although should you be surprised with bitter orange clementine and mandarin orange being in here they really wanted to make sure you could smell the orange in here oh, crap so I don't think this one is out of, I don't think this one is discontinued. I have to make a decision whether I'm going to buy Gucci Guilty Love. Because this is going out. <laughs> this is Gucci Guilty Love is going, I think it's, I heard. I heard that it's being discontinued. But Aqua Allegoria, Mandarin Basilic, when am I going to be able to buy this? Oh no, and I love this line of bottles. The bottles look so cool. But this one's pink. These are amazing. Listen. Don't be bot okay. Don't even bother getting travel sizes of things unless you in unless you <laughs> you tell yourself already that there's a chance you're gonna like it. And you're like I effed up. Why oh why I effed up. I've been slowing down on using Elizabeth. Elizabeth Arden's green tea because I want to use it in the spring when it gets warmer in the summertime but I don't want to have to repurchase it I know it was cheap but I don't want to have to repurchase it because I want to keep trying other fragrances and but I really love this as you can see with how much I've used of it and I'm really annoyed at myself because this is literally mom this is this is this is mom okay and this is youngest daughter you, do you get the vibe? No, I need to buy this. Oh, no. Ah! <laughs> Alrighty, so you watched me have a little meltdown. <laughs> Hopefully you liked the video. If you did, can I get my light? Can I get the... Yo, Love by Sofia Vergara is delicious. <gasps> no! No! No. Oh, greatness. Y'all, I gotta go. I gotta go check prices. I gotta go check finances and see what I can do. See what I can make happen, okay? Give me that like and click on this next video that's gonna come up and support your girls so I can avoid these finances. <laughs> Hopefully I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> bye, bye.